sports gaming universe. Hello and welcome to Sports Gaming Universe channel here on YouTube and welcome back to some more MLB 14, the show coverage on the PS4. Well, I've talked about it for a long time. I started up my Cubs franchise, which is a straight franchise using Operation Sports rosters, but I also wanted to use one of those runner-up teams that I was thinking about using, either the Rockies or the Twins, and do a fantasy draft series with that. So I've chosen the Rockies since my buddy Junk Gaming Videos is doing the Twins. I figured I will take the Rockies, and there you go. It looks like we are going to get the number eight draft spot overall in this fantasy draft. So we're going to go ahead and draft in this very first episode, and then we're going to talk about how we want to have this series play out. I've got a couple options for you guys to vote on, and we will get to that. But here you see we are number eight overall. Cincinnati's got the number one pick. They'll go Clayton Kershaw. Cabrera goes second, followed by Trout, Robinson Cano. Craig Kimbrell, Troy Tulowitzki, and Dustin Pedroia. So now we have a chance to go with Carlos Gonzalez and keep him on the Rockies franchise, but I think that's a little too obvious. Um, I kind of want to go a different direction and have a guy that would not normally be on the Rockies roster. I'm really eyeing Jose Fernandez. I know he's not the top guy on this list. You might want to say you Darvish would go before him, but he's so young. He's 21, and hey, he does not have to have Tommy John surgery in MLB 14 the show so we're gonna go and build around Jose Fernandez next up we're gonna look and uh, go at a player position I'm thinking Freddie Freeman now things I'm looking at in this draft I'm building not only on skill but I want to build a little bit on youth I don't really want to get stuck with a bunch of 40 year old aging guys in my roster I go for Bryce Harper next I like that pick Definitely got to get Bryce Harper on here. Now, in this case, I am going to stick with a Rocky, and I'm going to get Willen Rosario to be my catcher as we snake back around here. Now I'm thinking another starter, and we're going to go with Tanaka. He's been lights out since coming over to the Yankees, and we're going to go ahead and take him. Sean Doolittle is going to head up my relief core here, and i got to look at a closer pretty soon. Uh, but before we do that, let's look second baseman. I'm going to go Alex Guerrero, a potential, already an 80 overall, from the Dodgers. Let's get him in there. That's about as solid as we can get for a youngster in our second base slot. I'm going to go with 24-year-old B potential Carson Smith, a 74 overall, to be my closer, at least to start off with here. Oh, i got to go with my buddy Byron Buxton. I'm a Twins fan, and he's our best prospect. Might be Major League Baseball's best prospect. Got to go with him out in the center because someone else was about to take him at that point. Christian Yelich, I've always liked him on my fantasy teams on ESPN Fantasy Leagues. I'm going to go with him as my left fielder. How about that? So we're going to move on to our next pick and looking to solidify our third base spot. I'm thinking Matt Dominguez. I usually am a Will Middlebrooks guy, but that's predictable for me. I'm going to go a different way and go with Dominguez. Going to turn my attention back to starting pitching, and I'm going to take Chasin there, who is already a Rocky. So I've got at least two players who were currently Rockies in real life that are going to stay on the fantasy roster as well. We go Wade Miley for another pitcher. And again, obvious pick for me would be Xander Bogarts, being a Red Sox fan. But I'm going to go Javier Baez because... He's part of my uh, Cubs franchise as well. I have a little bit of carryover there, a little similarity between the two. Oh, my goodness. Jose Abreu is available. He's probably not as highly touted as he should be for his real-life performance, but we're taking him. We're getting him on this roster. There's no question about that. I'm going to go Josemiel Pinto because he's a twin, and, I, again, I kind of like him. I want to go with players not only that are good fits, but that you know I like to play with, so... We are also going for A potential. This kid is 19 with A potential. Yes, we're going to go there as a backup. We have no problem putting that in there. I'm going to go Kyle Zimmer with some A potential as a pitcher. He'll probably start in AAA, I would imagine. Let's get to that bullpen again. I want to be mindful of lefty-righty setups a little bit. I don't want to be all right-handed or all left-handed. I'm going to go with Reimer Liriano. Here is a backup outfielder. We're kind of going rapid pace now as this is obviously all condensed down. Now, talking about having some veterans on the team, I don't know. For me, I kind of like my veterans in my bullpen. Uh, and if I'm going to go with some guys who have kind of been around a spot there where they can come in and get a solid out and not as too much of them, 
that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go with, oh, i got to go with the name, Mookie Betts. I love it. Mookie Betts. What an awesome name. Makes me think of Mookie Wilson throwing it way back. So I'm going to draft Mookie Betts. Some of these guys get on my team just because of their name, I'm going to be honest here, in the later rounds. And uh, this is going to be a another relief pickup here, Christian Garcia. When all things are equal, I'm going to go with a little bit of youth. Uh, at least, you know, get them in their mid to upper 20s instead of, you know, 35 or so. Here's another guy who made it just on his name. I love this name. Slade Heathcott. Going with that. As um, I'm about to turn it over to auto draft here, but I'm going to make another pick or two. I'll go James Paxton as a starting pitcher. Again, probably triple A once we draft him. And we're in round 27 now. I'm about to turn this over to auto draft. Round 28. Yeah, I think it's about time. I think from here on out, I will let the computer fill out the roster. I've pretty much taken care of what I need to on the major league level. And uh, we'll see what it does about filling in here. You know, obviously there's about 90 slots to fill throughout your organization. And I'm not about to do all that because at some point it's not going to matter all that much anyway. So we are set for spring training at this point. I'll just kind of look over the roster really quickly, at least at the top end of it. Class A. Uh, we got double A. We got Brandon Inge hanging on in double A. My goodness. Okay, well, if we need to grab a veteran down there, I guess uh, we know where to go. And there's the triple A roster. The other funny thing on the double A roster, Dontrell Willis is there. Yes. Dontrell Adam Willis hanging on, trying to keep the career going at my double A ranks. So we're just hitting the field for a little spring training action. Obviously, this is just kind of a backdrop to talk about the series going uh, forward here. This is a sample starting lineup. I wanted to get a Brayu in there to kind of see him a little bit. Uh, but we've got some different options to go as far as lineups. I'm pretty happy with what we got here. We got a mix of of young and you know some guys who are stars now. So I think there's definitely room to grow. Like I said, Byron Buxton standing in here and just jacking a homer off his field. How about that? Talk about potential for this club, for the youngsters. There's the guy who leads the way in that category. Byron Buxton goes deep. And uh, how do you like those uniform choices? Yeah, spring training combos for the win there. You got the white jersey with the gray pants. I was telling Junk, uh, he was over here while I was recording this. As a matter of fact, I think this is Junk playing right now in this game. Uh, but I was telling him uh, a little story from my uh, Babe Ruth baseball days. And we had a little, whether it was a mix-up or it was intended, we actually had a uniform combo that was like this. We had white jersey tops with gray pants we all thought they were disgusting but it was what we were stuck with for a whole year of babe ruth baseball i'm like come on give me a break but anyway you just kind of see a few clips of our team in action but now here's what i wanted to get to before this video is out my initial intention for this team for the fantasy draft franchise was to run it as a live stream only kind of setup along the lines of what i'm doing with dog bones right now i have a lot of edited road to the show series so dog bones was the one that I designated to be live stream only, so where we could hang out, kind of have fun, talk about things, and uh, just have the backdrop of this road to the show going on. And I think I've really enjoyed that. It's a nice little step away from all the editing that I do. So that is what I had in mind for this series, but I want you guys to kind of vote as far as just leaving your thoughts in this comment section of this very video. Do you want to see this be a live stream format uh, franchise? As seen that I've already got the Cubs franchise going, edited style uh, regular videos that I've already been doing what four episodes of or do you want to see it follow suit with the Cubs franchise and be an edited series I mean it can be that's fine I'm gonna kind of see and test the waters here with you guys what you think I, I really want you to leave your opinion be honest that's fine I know going in I'm not gonna please every single person that's just the way the nature of these things go some of you like live streams better with the interaction that we have some of you would rather have a polished uh, edited video with my commentary all edited up and everything so leave your your vote by telling me in the comment section here uh, maybe we'll even get a poll code uh, kind of thing going and we can vote I guess that would be the most concrete way to do it so look for that in the description of the video as well 
And thanks for watching, guys. I think this is going to be fun to do a fantasy draft, kind of to be the parallel to what we got going on with Cubs franchise. Come on back next time, and I'll let you know what you guys have decided. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and join the SGU team. Like the SGU Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. Go ahead and subscribe to SGU here on YouTube so you don't miss daily videos. And last but not least, follow us on Twitch for live streaming goodness.